Well, as we've been reporting this afternoon, Steelers linebacker Ryan Shazier will remain in the hospital in Cincinnati for at least another 24 to 48 hours for further evaluation of his spine injury. Now, some have called it a spinal cord concussion, others a spinal cord contusion. So what is the difference and how are injuries like that treated? Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra continues our team coverage. See it there. Spinal cord contusions are a serious injury. When you have inflammation and bruising to the spinal cord, that can be a, a devastating problem for people's function. When there is extreme bending of the spine forward or backward, the spinal cord can get pinched. The signals between the brain and the body are interrupted, so you can have numbness and weakness and paralysis below the level of the injury. The spinal cord basically runs from the brain all the way down to the mid portion of the low back, and as a result, anywhere that spinal cord gets compressed, it can be injured. Here is what a spinal cord contusion looks like on MRI scan. This black structure running down the neck here is the spinal cord. And as the arrow so nicely points out, this little white spot right in the middle of that cord is essentially a contusion or bruise to the spinal cord. When you think about spinal cord injury, it's a spectrum. Spinal cord concussion is a little milder with a quicker return of function. A spinal cord contusion indicates some degree of bruising and swelling. Both involve the same mechanics, and when it comes down to it, the nerves are injured. When taking care of patients with this kind of trauma, the doctors watch for function to return as the swelling goes down. Sometimes certain steroids can reduce the inflammation. Symptoms can improve in a matter of hours or weeks. And you may not know for weeks what the full and permanent extent of the injury is. Rehab is needed for more severe cases, that would be physical therapy and occupational therapy, over a course of weeks. I'm Dr. Maria Sumbra, KDKA, TV News.